hello everyone welcome back with uh, another video on react native mobile application development so in this video we are going to implement async storage okay so in our previous video what we do is uh, we implement our api sign in api so uh, right now what we are going to do is to save the data we are going to save this data that we get from the api in our application so uh, when our app restarted so we can recognize that if the user is logged in or not and uh, in rest of the apis we will use our this token which we will pass in our header and uh, to access all the apis okay so async storage will help us to store the data in our application and uh, to get the data and store the data so let's get started so first of all install uh, uh, we have to do the installation let's copy this command and run it in our terminal i will provide the link in the description of this library Okay, so right now it is installed. We just have to run our yeah. So we just have to run our application. So let's run it. Mpx react native run Android. Okay. Cool. So let's wait for a our application to be run so right now our project is successfully built and as you can see that it is uh, showing us uh, our sign in page so after uh, login in and uh, uh, after closing the app and reopen and when we reopen the app it will show uh, the welcome page not sign in page okay so let's do it so let's come in our config folder uh, config and create a folder of async storage async storage okay and let's create index.js file in it okay let me close uh, my other tabs functions so first function will be to store the data and second function will be to get the data so let's implement it say export uh, const uh, store into async storage and like this okay and uh, one more thing that our this function also will be async okay so uh, after this try catch sorry try catch okay so if we get any error let's say like uh, error um, storing data in async storage and it let's say and to store the data we simply have to do like await and uh, async storage dot set item and set item will take two parameters first will be the key that we pass have to pass and the second will be the value let pass key and value in this thing so this is it for storing the data and let me just uh, okay right now just ignore the error second th thing will be get get 
get from async storage okay and it will take only the key parameter and we have to say that um, we have to say that uh, like get item and we will uh, this is also will be the await and we, we will say while you const value is equals to this so if if value if we get the value get the data then return the value and else return null and if we get some error we will also say return null and uh, let's say um, return null and also make console.log above and console.log that uh, error in getting data from amazing storage okay so our both functions are uh, completed let's just use it in our sign in so to use in our sign in what we have to do is to uh, before uh, navigating let's just we have to save our data so let's call our function so store data in async storage the key will be user and the value will be uh, our our data so let's just save our data like this and save it in we have to uh, do uh, the checking stuff like check if the user is login or not so I have to say check user and I will create a function async function which say check user and uh, and we have to call our get from async storage okay so we will say like const value is equals to async and underscore get from async storage and oh oops uh, await get from async storage and pass the user so let's just print our value and see what uh, type of data it is showing so let's say console.log value save it so right now as you can see it is returning null because uh, our data is not available and user is coming for the first time so if if not if not value then we can say navigate to navigate to the sign in screen so let me just uh, yeah copy the name sign in and paste it over here okay and when it come to our sign in screen we have to say that we we are storing our data after uh, we get success message from the api so let's run uh, run the sign in method okay so okay so here here we get here we are getting an error uh, user is not a string okay the value for key user is not a string so uh, we have to uh, store the data like this in a string format json dot string file then pass the data okay okay now save it and let's uh, rerun our application okay and rerun our this uh, sign in with google okay 
ओके या सो आवर डेटा इज सक्सेसफुली स्टोर एंड नाउ लेट्स सी इट इज़ वर्किंग और नॉट सो लेट मी क्लोज माई एप्लीकेशन एंड री रन इट री ओपन इट so we haven't defined what uh, uh, what it have when uh, where it have to navigate when it found the data so in the bottom below we can say like uh, else navigate to the welcome screen go to this and this and save it so as you can see that it is coming in our welcome screen let me show you one more time so when we open our application come like this and it is already logged in so it will come in our welcome screen okay so that's it for today guys i think i hope you like this uh, uh, this video so if you have any question le then let me know in the comment box till then take care and have a good day see you guys in the next video thank you so much